hey guys this is ram from wire help and today i'm going to show you how collections work in rkl plsql in my last video i have shown you how uh, records work in plsql and if you have missed that video you can check the link in the description and uh, today video is all about collections uh, well uh, in my last previous video uh, i have shown you how you can store data like this uh, this data has three columns i mean uh, id name and marks and it has only one record well records will come in handy when you have data like this well let's just say you have data like this which has a uh, multiple records then uh, records uh, are gonna file why because records can obviously hold one single row it cannot hold multiple rows and that's where collections come in handy well collections uh, can typically hold multiple elements of a standard data type or single data type well in oracle you have a uh, three different types of collections first one is v arrays nested tables and associative arrays or index by table well the thing is first one is v arrays it's almost equal to your uh, standard arrays in your programming language like c or java uh, it has predefined size which means you have to specify number of elements it can hold uh, while declaring and the second thing is its index always starts with one unlike your programming languages uh, so which means my first element is 12 and its in index is going to be one and second is 14 and in index is going to be two if i want to access my first element i have to specify index as one and the, th and the second thing is nested table well it's almost equal to vrs only thing is you don't need to specify the size while declaring it's almost equal to list in your standard programming languages so which means uh, size is going to automatically increase based on number of elements you push and again index starts with one well the third one is associated to arrays it's equal to your map or hash map in your java or other programming languages well advantage of this one is that uh, you don't need to you don't need to have an index as one two three four uh, you can have an index of uh, strings also so those are the three different uh, collections overall functionality is same their role is to store uh, multiple rows of data well i'm going to programmatically show you how you use collections in uh, oracle so i'm going to declare a uh, declare section here and begin and end so in my declare section i'm going to declare my variables well at first i'm going to show you how a vrs works and i'm going to move to next nested tables so uh, declaration is almost uh, same as your record declaration you have to specify type and your uh, data type name let's just say vrs uh, my vrs and you have to specify what kind of uh, data type it's going to be and it's going to be v array and if you're going to create a record you will use it as is record and if you're going to create a v array you have to specify as v array and as i said before we have to specify how many elements it can hold so i'm going to give it as let's say five and you have to specify what kind of data it can hold well obviously you cannot hold any kind of data you have to specify whether it can hold whether array can hold uh, a number or a uh, integer or a string or something like that so i'm just gonna uh, give us number here which means it can only hold number and if you try to store string it's gonna throw an error and if you if you try to insert more than five records it's going to throw an error so that's how you declare a data type so i'm gonna quickly create a variable here so I'm going to create my variable as student underscore IDs and I'm going to define data type as my array. So it's very simple and straightforward guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to initialize my array with from the from the student IDs table. So I'm, I'm just going to use select into statement select ID into student IDs. Uh, from so and so table all right it's very simple what i'm going to do is i'm fetching ids from student table and i'm storing into 
this array a uh, student underscore id arrays if this select statement returns two elements student IDs will have two elements if it returns four elements it's gonna have four elements and this select statement if it returns six elements obviously it's gonna throw error why because my array is it can hold only five elements if you try to fetch six elements here it's gonna it's gonna throw error and one more thing is that whenever you are using collections you cannot directly use into uh, you can use a bulk collect or something like that well again don't worry about what is bulk collect uh, i'm going to explain in my another tutorial or what i'm going to take a separate session on what is bulk collect and why it is used for for now just add a bulk collect into statement here and all right now i have my entire id entire id rows in my array so how do i fetch these variables how do i fetch these values it's very simple as i said index is by one if you want to access first element you have to specify student ids of one and it will return 12 and if you specify student ids of two it's going to return 14. well obviously in a general programming language you would loop through this entire array and you will display one by one well uh, i'm going to take up a separate video on loop so i don't want to confuse uh, loops now so i'm gonna straight away uh, declare i'm gonna straight away access my elements using student of one so like this so you can access values like this if you want to fetch first element you can use one if you want to fetch second element you can specify two so i'm just gonna dump this here so let me just quickly uh, print it to console all right now what it's going to return is it's going to return first element of this student array so let me just run this one and let's see what happens all right it returned the first element in my array suppose if you want to access second element you can just specify index as two i mean key as two all right it's very simple it returned my uh, second element the thing is uh, all this uh, all this entire four rows are stored in one single array well uh, the second thing in collection is a uh, nested tables well as you can see drawback of vrs is that it cannot obviously uh, you know dynamically increase its size so that's where a uh, table comes so table nested table it's very simple all you have to do is you have to specify data type as table instead of vra and cool thing is you don't need to specify the size and the size is going to automatically increase based on the number of records you are trying to insert into and one more thing i want to explain is that guys in my last video i have shown you how to use anchor type so i'm going to quickly use anchor type here instead of hard coding number data type here so student my table and my column and anchor type so what i'm trying to do is, is that i'm gonna fetch the data type from uh, from so and so table dynamically so quickly run this one so, well output is not going to be a change because we're using the same uh, you know the structure is going to be same for both array and table so output is not going to be different well my bad i think i missed something here let me just quickly check all right, I'm so sorry guys. The thing is I have uh, defined same variable name for uh, both VR and table. So I'm going to uh, quickly say it as nested underscore table. So this is my data type, my new data type. And I'm going to assign to my student ID variable. So now this student ID variable, it can hold as many number of elements it can. So let me just quickly run this one. All right, you got the output here. And suppose if you want to access third element, you can always use three again as i said guys generally you would use a uh, for loop or while loop don't worry about that now i'm gonna explain in another video so this is about uh, arrays and nested tables and another cool thing is that guys and if you can see i have three fields here three fields and i have multiple rows so this is like uh, your multi-dimensional array and if you want to achieve multi-dimensional array what you're going to do is you're going to combine both records and collections and how do i do that it's very simple well what i have done in earlier is that 
I have created arrays of uh, this ID. So what I'm gonna do is just like that I'm gonna create arrays of this record. So when record as I said record is uh, like a single data structure which can hold three different fields. So I'm gonna create uh, arrays of multiple records so, th so that you can achieve multi-dimensional array. So I'm gonna quickly copy my uh, record which I have created in my last video and again if you have missed this uh, record tutorial you can see my link in the description and you can see what's the record what is the purpose of that and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an array I mean table of data type array it's very simple instead of specifying a number or varchar or something like that I have a specified data type so record so that means like my array will be like this first element will have this array i mean this record and my second element in my array will have this record and third element in my array will have this record well how do i access each record is very simple uh, array of one array of two array of three and so on so so i'm going to quickly uh, change my output here so as i said it will return so array of one will return one entire record so i'm going to print each element in my record so this is how it works uh, it's gonna return my one record which is a student record and under the record I'm going to access ID so just like that you can access name also so let me just quickly add that this is my first element and under that first element I'm going to access my record ID and name so I'm gonna quickly do that for second record also and instead of selecting ID here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fetch name and marks also so this ID and name and marks of each and entry it's gonna go into student IDs so let me just quickly run this one and let's see what happens so I got my multi-dimensional array wherein I have my ID and, and my name and quickly if you want to fetch marks also you can just add another variable here so it's very simple guys what we have done is we have combined the power of collections which can return multiple rows along with the records which can return uh, multiple columns for each each row so it's very simple guys if you still have any more confusion you can always reach me in my comment section and if you have seen i have used multiple mu bulk collect here and i promise you that i'm gonna take another video maybe not exactly next video but i'm gonna uh, cover in my entire series uh, how bulk collect work and uh, i'm gonna show you how you loop elements using for loop or while loop etc and one more cool thing is that i forgot to specify uh, collection functions well oracle com comes with collection functions like uh, what is the first element in my collection and what is the last element and what is the count of my collections like how many elements are there in my collection so there are so many cool functions and i'm going to explain all those functions in my next video thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe us